Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today I got a uh, first look at uh, two watches and uh, we'll talk more about uh, this one here as well which is a prototype. So these are from Ocean Crawler watches and uh, you might be thinking, well I've never heard of them. Well I hadn't heard of them up until about five, six ago, uh, five, six months ago either. Uh, they are a new brand. They are based out of New York City. Now, uh, they've had a few uh, models uh, so far. Uh, there was a chronograph model. There was a uh, three-hand dive watch model. Um, and I'm going to show you both these here in a second. Now, what's interesting, it is another brand that did not go the Kickstarter route, and I believe did not go a pre-order uh, need-to-fund production route. And uh, through the review uh, review process, I'm going to uh, hopefully get to the owner on the phone and discuss uh, how the watch brand came about and his background and all that kind of good stuff. But let's go ahead here and take a, a look here at these watches. Now, this is the Loom Rush Diver. Now, if you are familiar with high-end art watches, you're going to uh, you're going to recognize. Um, I don't want to say the dial design, but the numerous, numerous, numerous cutouts uh, all around the dial. Now, the design is specific here to Ocean Crawler, but I think you may know what I'm talking about. But uh, I'll go ahead here and give you a look around the case. This is a very interesting piece, a very interesting dive watch uh, with the way the crown and the bezel is. Um, honestly, I always thought that this bezel was going to be hard to operate when I first saw this watch on Instagram, and um, I was wrong. But uh, here is a look at the case back. This is an orange rubber strap. I think I believe it's actually silicone and um, has a very cool buckle as you could see here and it also does come with a leather strap as well now I'm going to have a full review on this um, in the upcoming weeks so this is your first look at it right here uh, follow us on Instagram you're gonna want to see loom shots of this there's going to be loom shots. By the time you see this video, there should be a loom shot posted on our Instagram page, at WatchReport. Definitely want to check that one out. Uh, it's amazing. Now, this other one that I have here is a prototype. Um, this is titanium. It is the Ocean Navigator. The other one is the Loom Rush, if I uh, did not mention it, but you know that anyway because you're reading the title. So this is PVD and titanium. I assume this is going to come in a stainless steel model as well as all their models seem to do. Um, despite its thickness, because of it being titanium, it is lightweight. Um, I don't have exact specs and price on this. This was um, I was asked if I wanted to take a look at this, and I asked if I could do uh, a quick video, take some pictures of it, uh, etc. So I'm going to measure it and take the specs myself. Um, I know this is a Swiss STP 1-11 automatic movement. I do not know what the price is going to be yet, but I do know it should be released sometime in January of 2018. I'm go ahead here and take a look at this, kind of give you a first look at it. Uh, if you want to know more, I'm going to try and update the description below as I get information. I will have um, a full review on this one once the production pieces are done. There's going to be some changes to this. There's going to be, um, the crowns are going to be upgraded. They're going to be larger, um, I'm told. Uh, bezel action is going to be improved, although I don't find the bezel action to be bad. Um, at all. One thing I did notice on this prototype is that these screws are not PVD coated. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's going to change come production. Take a look at the case back here. It's funny when you have um, a titanium watch and a stainless watch of similar size and thickness right next to you and you're holding one and then you're holding the other because the, the weight difference is super significant. Um, but here is a look at the case back. Both of these, um, I gotta be honest here, um, both of these are very, very nice watches. Like I said, I'm gonna update the description below. Price will be down there for the Loom Rush. I'll leave a link to the uh, Ocean Crawler website. 
And uh, I'll give you as much info on that as I can, but you're going to want to follow uh, Ocean Crawler. Uh, check out their website if you're interested in it. Follow them on Instagram and their Facebook page to stay uh, for updates. As I said, we'll have a full review on this in uh, the coming weeks. And uh, this one, once the production model is done in sometime in you know January, February, we'll have one of those final releases for a full review as well. So here is a look at two Ocean Crawler watches. I gotta say, these are, um, I'm impressed so far. These are pretty sweet. Put them through their paces a little bit. Don Evans from watchreport.com giving you a first look at these watches. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell twice so you never miss another upload. See you guys soon. Thank you.